Okay, nocturnal news. A lot of crazy things happening in our skies out there. Uh, we're going to kind of go over all of it today. First, we have this Chinese balloon that, you know, tracked some 4,000 miles over American soil. U.S. officials knew the Chinese were trying to watch us with their massive spy balloon. Now the Pentagon believes they were attempting to listen, too, using multiple antenna to collect electronic conversations and solar panels to power collection sensors. Then we have these mysterious lasers beaming down from outer space. I say mysterious, some would say ominous lasers. Uh, beaming down from outer space over Hawaii, caught on a live cam from their observatory. More on that later. And then to kind of top things off, we have this unknown object that was literally shot down over Alaska at 40,000 feet. Not a lot of info on that. The Pentagon is being very secretive and very careful with their wording, but it is an unknown object. So what in the hell is going on around here? I mean, what is, I mean, this is crazy. Like, what are these things flying through our skies? But before we continue, uh, you know, just a quick announcement, I'm going to be reading a book right here on nocturnal news the day after roswell so you know please tune in for that i'm very excited basically we're going to take a deep dive into this book it is packed with great information details testimonies i mean all kinds of cool stuff i've never seen heard or uh, read about before so um you know probably going to break it down chapter by chapter maybe put out 10 11 12 videos and then look i understand it's not everyone's cup of tea you know to listen to someone reading a book on youtube but if you're interested in the roswell mystery uh you know tune in for that you know so i'm really really excited about that and again you know i thought i knew everything about roswell but this book just blew my mind so uh, we're looking forward to that. So again, please uh, tune in for that the day after Roswell, you know, me on camera reading the book uh, coming soon. So let's continue. Here we go. Another recovery operation is underway thousands of miles from where the first spy balloon went down in South Carolina. This time an object was shot now uh, shot down over the water near Alaska. The Pentagon is saying before they took action, they observed the aircraft for about 24 hours. Yeah, they say that this aircraft posed more of a threat to Americans, prompting them to shoot it down. In this particular case, uh, given the fact that it was operating at an altitude that posed a reasonable threat to civilian uh, air traffic, the determination was made and the president gave the order to take it down. Now, right now, no images of this second aircraft have been released, so it's unclear if this is similar or a balloon-type vessel like we saw before. Flying 40,000 feet posed a threat to civilian flight. U.S. official did not appear to have surveillance equipment about the size of a small car. Unmanned did not appear to be self-maneuvering. Now, how do they know it was unmanned? Because remember, at this point, when this news article came out, uh, they had not shot it down or, or retrieved it yet, so how do they know it was unmanned? That's a little bit odd. Okay, shot down by F-22 fighter jet over frozen water of Alaska. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of clickbait out there. Uh, I suspect third phase of moon will have a photograph of this anomaly immediately. All right, high altitude object timeline. Thursday evening, U.S. government learned about the object. Friday, 1.45 p.m., F-22 fighter jet shoots it down over north uh, northeastern alaska friday morning president biden notified new development some pilots said object had no identifiable propulsion could not explain how object was staying in the air now this like i said this article or or uh, report was a couple of days ago so today i've heard i don't know if it's true or not but there's rumors there's reports that they when they shot it down it basically like shattered into pieces like like a broken mirror or, or glass so uh and there's a lot of photos right now circulating the internet of this fake obvious fake downed craft over like a frozen lake i mean there's just so much clickbait out there let's continue some pilots said the object interfered with their sensors, kind of like the USS Nimitz. You guys remember that interfering with their, their instrument panel and their sensors on the panels. Okay, but not all pilots reported experiencing that. Some pilots also claim to have seen no identifiable propulsion on the object and could not explain how it was staying in the air despite the object cruising at an altitude of 40,000 feet. So how is it, how is it at 40,000 feet? 
Was it a balloon? Was it a drone? Is it uh, a foreign adversary? I mean, who knows? I don't know. And look, I suspect we're going to get a photograph pretty soon similar to the Roswell incident. You know, some military guy standing there with a broken weather balloon. So that's why I mean, I'm not even joking. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> the conflicting eyewitness accounts are partly why the Pentagon has been unable to fully explain what the object is. The source briefed on the matter said it's unclear what the object looks like or where it came from again be careful what what you uh, believe out there there's a ton of clickbait out there a lot of uh you know fake pictures floating around things like that okay again it says it's unclear what the object looks like or where it came from on friday writer said it was traveling northeast across alaska he declined to provide a physical characterization only saying that it was about the size of a small car Okay, moving forward, I posted this video about a year, year and a half ago of LiDAR laser technology. It's awesome. Um, it can map the ocean floor, uh, find pyramids in the jungle, ancient ruins, just an awesome tech. So when I saw the, the incident, the anomaly in Hawaii from the observatory, it, it reminded me of LiDAR. So I started digging around, doing a little bit of research, and basically I discovered it's a satellite. So I was wrong. It's a Chinese built, made, and owned satellite shooting lasers down. Now they claim it's for environmental research, but I don't believe that for one second. And this is the satellite right here responsible for firing down these green laser beams onto the Hawaiian soil. Now, uh, if you follow the channel, you guys know I talk a lot about space-based weaponry, and this is just another fine example. I believe this is a weapon disguised as a, a envir environmental research satellite. That's kind of a mouthful, but that's what they claim it is. But, you know, look, guys, something's going on here. We got this balloon, this unknown object over Alaska, and now this Hawaii incident. It's just crazy. So right here, I enhanced the video, turned up the contrast, the brightness, put a little bit of gain on it to bring out the details. I put it on a loop right here. Here we go. Uh, just so you guys can get a better look at it. Now, it looks cool. Looks like a Pink Floyd concert, okay? But this is scary. I mean, again, you know, what if this was some type of weapon? I'm not saying it is, but it could be. I mean, that that's a scary thought. So I'm going to let this play out. Now, what I'm going to do at the end of the video, I'm going to include links and photos and screenshots and anything that I feel is relevant to these three um, anomalies that we've covered today on Nocturnal News, the balloon, the unknown craft over Alaska, and the lasers. Now, we, we, we have an explanation for two. We, we know what the balloon is. We know what the lasers are, but we don't know uh, <laughs> what this UFO is over Alaska. So hopefully that'll be my next video. All right, so there you have it. Thank you for tuning in. Now look, if there's any uh, further details that emerge on this Alaskan UAP, you can find it right here on Nocturnal News. I've got my eyes peeled, my ears opened, um, you know, so I'm reading all the articles, staying uh, tuned in to all the videos, the news stations out there. So hopefully we can get some more answers and it's not another cover up like Roswell. So that's that's the only thing I'm worried about. But you guys know, even if they do try to cover this up, we will get to the truth. So again, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one.